This is Pixel Desk. Pixel Desk is an image editor for Mac and iOS. It's a very powerful image editor, but I'm not here to talk about Pixel Desk in general. I'm here to talk about Pixel Desk AI, which was released last week. Now here I am in Pixel Desk with a blank project with no layers. And you'll notice on the right hand side is the toolbar. And among those tools is a new tool. It looks like a little microchip. That's the AI tool. So if I press that, I get this and you'll see there's this um, yellow generation frame. It's called a generation frame. It, it, it's available in three different sizes. And that defines where you're gonna put your AI generated content. So I'm gonna pick the largest size. We don't have any existing images on this project. So the only thing we can really do is generate a new AI generated image from scratch, which I'm gonna do. But first I need to type in a prompt. A robot standing in a field with a single tree, digital art. Hit generate. So what it does when you hit generate is it creates a new image layer and automatically selects it. And when it comes back, it fills that image layer with the results. But it's a special image layer. It's just like a regular pixel desk image layer, except it has these four variations to choose from. So these are the four variations that the AI generated based on random chance, essentially. So what you do is choose your favorite. I like this one. I like this one the best because of the colors. So I'm gonna go with this one. That's pretty cool. Okay, so right, it can generate anything. But let's say for whatever reason, I wanna get rid of the tree. You can get rid of the tree using the cutting tool, press cut out and then press exclude and then outline the tree. Press done. And now we have an image with no tree, but I don't want a big old gaping hole where the tree used to be. I want it to look like the tree was never there. So I can use AI to accomplish that. So bring up the AI tool again, leave the generation frame in the same place. But all we're gonna do is edit the prompt a little bit. So let's just remove the tree from the prompt. So now it's just a robot standing in a field, digital art. Hit generate. We don't care about the old layer anymore. So let's turn that off. Beautiful colors. And there we go. The tree is now gone. It's as if it was never there. And in its place, that one's kind of messed up, but uh, the others look pretty cool. In its place, it put this little rock formation, which is kind of cool. And in this, it put a mountain. In this, it also put a mountain. But I'm gonna say this is my favorite. So there you go, I got rid of the tree. And the last thing I wanna demonstrate is um, extending the image. Bring up the AI tool again, but this time I'm gonna move the generation frame to be offset a bit, like put it like right here. And let's say I want the robot to be looking at a spaceship or something. So let's put a landscape. Well, actually, let's do um, spaceship flying over landscape digital art. Hit generate. And that creates yet another image layer, which we're going to have to merge together layer later. And there's the results. We got four images to choose from. I like this one the best, but now you see the robot, he's kind of looking at this spaceship. Maybe he's waiting for a ride. Maybe it's like uh, his house or something, but there it is. You get the idea. Now let's say you wanted to share this image. First, what you need to do is merge the layers together. So right now it's it's two separate layers, see? But they can easily be merged together. All you need to do is select both of them and then press merge. And now it's a single layer which you can share using the share button. And that's about it. You can use it with both photos and um, digital art like this. There's a whole lot you can do with it. I hope you check out Pixel Desk. There's a link in the description. Like I said, it's available for both Mac and iOS. So give it a try. Thanks for watching. Peace.